tempted to open the box, so I'm going to get wet if I do. Well, let's see what happens. Hi, Miles here, and thanks for tuning into my video about this Pelton turbine assembly that I've literally just finished building in my workshop. It's not been tested yet. We're going to do that a little later in the video. The priorities for me has been reliability and strength. I've put a base plate on. Uh, that's kind of the start of the project. That's a 10 mil thick plate of aluminium. I've gone for aluminium because um, although I want it sturdy, I do want to be able to move the thing around. Because I'm going to go and install this in a slate mine. And uh, you know, I've got to be able to get it to site, so I didn't really want steel as such, it would have been quite heavy. And this alternator, this is a three phase permanent magnet alternator, inspired to me by a company called Ice de Breeze in Germany. I will put a link in the video description. It is a 800 watt unit. They do a much bigger version that comes out here. It's a, it's a two kilowatt version. Um, I don't need anything like that kind of power. So the 800 is absolutely fine for me. The water supply I've got isn't gonna generate those sort of numbers anyway. It's not a cheap alternator. I think this cost about 250 pounds when I bought it for another project. That project didn't happen in the end, so I, I had it on the shelf. It's very, very well made. I'm very pleased with it. It's got seal bearings for life. It's uh, completely waterproof. It's designed to be out in all weathers, day and night, generating electricity with no fuss. And uh, there's a lot to be said for that. You will notice that the Pelton wheel itself is housed in a NATO 50 cal ammo tin. This particular one's higher than the standard one. And that's an unusual choice. I've never seen anyone use an ammo tin as the, the shroud before. You don't need a shroud, but it's a bit messy to not have one. Originally I was going to make a nice one out of aluminium sheet with a nice hinge lid and things. And just thought, well, basically an ammo tin is, is already that. And these are cheap, they know about 15 pounds. They're very well made, they're very strong. And um, you know, why reinvent the wheel? It gives you very good access to the, uh, to the Pelton inside. This particular Pelton wheel, I think it's 11 cups, and I got it from a person who makes them in Greece, I think it is. It's very simple, the cups themselves are plastic. I know you can't really see on the video, but the, the, um, the hub inside is steel, so it's all very strong. It didn't mate directly onto the uh, alternator of course it wouldn't do so I've had to use a lathe uh, I've got an old World War II era lathe uh, just to make a like a hub out of aluminium there just to link the two together so it's a very simple job just to make a sort of mating plate you don't have to use a lathe you could probably make something out of even out of wood with a hole saw would be fine you can see the the jet here obviously to provide the water that's not a uh, fancy jet designed specifically for a Pelton wheel. That is a jet off a garden fountain. They're quite cheap though. Uh, I think I paid about four pound delivered for that. And you can actually adjust the position of that, which I, I quite like. There's like a, a ball joint there. Uh, so if you were to loosen this off, this has a little bit of movement in it, left and right, up and down. So you can get the alignment absolutely uh, spot on. Uh, the, the outlet size there, you can't really see it on the camera, it's about six millimeters across, something like that. I think that's a bit big for this uh, Pelton, personally with the water supply that I've got. I think it would be more efficient with a, a smaller diameter one. Um, you'll notice the, the feed pipe here, this is a one inch diameter cast iron pipe. It's on its own pylon because I didn't want anything attached structurally to the ammo tin. This is of course steel so it will eventually rot so i made a tower out of a uh, aluminium box it's very very strong these clamps here the really good heavy duty pipe clamps they're not going anywhere absolutely solid so once it's all lined up um, i don't have to worry about it moving anywhere if i just tip it over you know, look underneath obviously i've cut a big hole in the bottom because you want the water to be able to exit the chamber very very quickly you don't want it ponding at all underneath the wheel and the, the bottom of the wheel hitting the, the ponded water that'll be bad slow it all right down so great big hole there underneath so it can all all drain out so time to take it underground and see what we can get done well i'm now about 1300 feet underground 
and I bought the uh, turbine down. I've built a little shelf for it out of this fire escape uh, grill, uh, which is suspended off the wall and uh, it's all very sturdy. I've rigged it all up with this rubber hose that runs to uh, a valve here. I've not turned it on yet, not tested it. I'm going to do that in a minute. So there's your, your feed in there. I've just rigged up very temporarily a, um, a rectifier there so that it will convert it to DC from the alternating current three phase. And I've got it then going through this power meter that will tell us uh, what voltage it's producing open circuit. And then what I can do is just connect up this large resistor here uh, that acts like a dump load and uh, see what sort of wattage uh, it, it can put into it. Now I do want to say um, something about the, the water supply here. Um, the water's coming through this pipe quite a long way, um, which is going to have a big bearing on the performance. This pipe here, it's only a one inch pipe. So it's very small and it runs for nearly a kilometer uh, up to a holding tank. The holding tank's quite high above, it's 65 vertical meters up, but it's a kilometer on the horizontal. So although the pressure is very good when the water's not moving, um, as soon as I open that valve, the pressure will drop a lot. Um, so I'm not really expecting a huge power output, not because the turbine's not capable of it, it's to do with the water pipe itself. Now I'm sure if you uh, got a big enough water supply this thing will produce the 800 watts that the, the alternator is rated to. I also haven't done any um, uh, fine tuning of the, the nozzle either because I haven't turned it on yet at all. Uh, so here we go, let's give it a go. It'll splutter a bit at first, I would imagine as it clears the air out. So you hear it turning. So you can see it, it is turning quite happily there. Uh, there's a bit of leakage there from the jet. I haven't put any um, like PTFE tape on the joint there, so I'm not too surprised about that. And on the meter, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The open voltage is just north of 35 volts, so that's good. Uh, so when I put this on here, we'll see what sort of wattage uh, we get. I'm hoping it's more than 20 watts. Uh, so let's see what this one does. It will slow down, of course, as soon as I connect this. Frustratingly, it's not giving me um, a reading. I'll have to try a different meter. Definitely quite a bit of current going through it though. I'm tempted to open the box, so I'm going to get wet if I do. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's not too bad. I thought it'd be going everywhere. It's getting warm, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely power going into it. Uh, it's a shame the swap piece is not really revealing much or indeed anything. I'm doing a bit more experimenting and I think there is a bit of a problem. It's going to be with the nozzle size because it's not actually producing very much power as it is. And the RPM is pretty good. But like, um, you can see visually what's happening when I connect up the power with that light. So you get a sudden surge of uh, light as the turbine um, has a lot of momentum in it but it quickly runs out and then the, the turbine jet itself isn't providing enough thrust to um, keep the wheel turning at high speed. 
So I think it's going to be about getting a smaller, uh, smaller nozzle with more of a powerful jet than the, the one I've got here. I've got some good news. Um, I took the lid off and uh, had a play around with the nozzle inside to get it um, aligned as efficiently as I could and I did manage to get it turning a bit faster just by getting that pointing um, as optimally as possible and it is producing a bit more voltage now, a bit more power uh, but it's still not a, an awful lot to be honest uh, I, I can't really tell you because that meter is not really reading properly um, that light bulb there, that's a 10 watt light bulb, it's lighting that up no problem it hasn't really slowed down much putting it on so definitely making a reasonable amount more than 10 watts. It's, I could imagine it's about 20, which is about what I was hoping for. Well, obviously I was hoping for more, but 20 is about the minimum really I would, um, needed to call it a success. I would like to try it somehow with a bit more water pressure to see what the, what the results would be. But it certainly seems to be working fine. I'm just going to tidy up my tools now and um, wire it up to the, uh, the battery charger that I need and uh, leave it going. Well, I'm back now after my day underground. I think that went fine. I'm pleased I managed to get it all set up and running today. And uh, actually, I did carry on playing around with it a bit um, and managed to get up to about 35 watts, which is about the best I can hope to expect, really. It's, it's a pretty feeble water supply, it is uh, holding it back, I think. Um, but, you know, that's absolutely fine. It's more than I was, um, I was hoping for. And uh, all it's got to do, really, is keep a lead-acid battery charged up um, so that I've got a, a power supply for charging drill batteries or brewing up uh, a cup of coffee when I want to and it'll be fine for that. I'm pretty sure that uh, that setup will just run all day, every day, no problems at all. We need very little maintenance, very little attention. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope it's been useful to you and um, I'll do another video soon. Thank you. Bye.